everyone, this is Arkham 12, and today we have a new uh, wrap. This is a Gear 5 Loopy wrap. I have done my homework, I have done my research, I am very familiar what, with what Gear 5 is already. I know it's the Sun God, uh, I forget what the Sun God's name is, but I know it's the Sun God who has now given his powers to Luffy, or has possessed Luffy, or something along those lines. Um, I've seen the battle, although I myself am not a One Piece fan, I have done my research for this, because this has been taking the internet by storm. This is probably the first like actual giant transformation uh, transformation in anime since maybe dragon ball's the battle of gods with super saiyan god i want to say that was probably the last time people got this freaking excited about a transformation in an anime um and rightfully so like the animation that i've seen i love the cartoony aspect of it the looney tune slash tom and jerry style uh inspirations i know that the uh the creator of one piece took a lot of fun in in uh designing gear five to be based off of those and yeah that's that's amazing uh this song is a rusted song featuring the stipendium and peso pete which Peso Pete, I can believe. Stipendium, very interesting choice for a, uh, a, a Gear 5 Luffy song, since I think Stipendium, they've said that they don't watch anime. I could be wrong about that, but I think Stipendium has said that they don't watch anime, so the fact that he's joining this was a surprise. Uh, it's not the first time, but it's always a surprise when it's an anime song. Link will be in the description below if you want to watch this without my commentary, because I will be pausing, I will be talking about it, and I have a lot of Gear 5 Loopy songs to get through, because that's basically what all Nerdcore dropped last week. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get started. Ooh. Go do it hard and heavy. Oh, heavy. Way I move like it's Tom and Jerry. Oh, Love new fruits because I popped a cherry. They a bunch of Peters. I'm a horrid Henry. Oh, Henry. Monster trio, there's a monster medley. Oh, Top your ghost like I'm on the merry. Oh, Bounce right back to the knob to jelly. When I be a dead horse, do it long like Shelly. Yeah. More twists and turns than a novelist. Coming in, crash bang, one up like a comic strip. Never act a connotative. I never get dudes go change their hypothesis. Hmm. What is it? Scale a man that's too bottomless. Yeah. Only me on my shovel list. Loving it. I break the flow with no sponsorship. Man, go leave the blood like it's fucking stubbornness. I love how cartoony this beat is like everything about this everything about this production so far has been like top tier rustage wrapping behind a very animated and loose fitting uh uh instrumental which fits the vibe of gear 5 luffy like everything about this so far has been honestly if you didn't tell me this is a gear 5 loopy song i would have thought this was probably another song for spike's family or spy family however you want to pronounce it um just because that's the vibe that i'm getting it's just so animated and i i i truly appreciate it i i like that stipendium is in the background doing those little vocals like he did at the very beginning um I'm expecting him to actually pop up with something else. I, If I were to guess, I would say that Russ is covering the first verse. Stipendium is doing like backup vocals as well as maybe the chorus because for some reason that fits this song. And then Peso Pete's going to handle the second verse and then probably Stipendium again. Um, I think that's how this is probably going to go out. Just because, just from the vibe that this song is producing, that makes the most sense. Um, but I suppose we will find out. I'm like a god, but you met the devil. Yeah. One more D like a Netflix special. Uh, I get to choose where I set my level, yeah. then I send them home in an empty vessel. Uh, Stretch them out like a Netflix pedal. Uh, Metal, I got a score, I got settled. Yeah. They could be forming a line, but I cross out their work and I do it in pencil. Huh. Can you feel the drumming in my heartbeat? Can you feel the rhythm in my bones? I'm about to raise another army You won't ever stand alone Even when our morals have been shaken I ain't ever breaking Drums of liberation sound I won't ever stop until we make it Rising to occasion Drums of liberation sound I think I was correct. 
Um, because it sounds like pizza is popping in now. That was a fantastically fun chorus. I see why they got Stoops on here now. I see why both Rustage and Peso managed to get Stoops on here. Because they did such a good job with that chorus. That was so much fun. I can't wait for it to kick in again. I think so far, that has been one of my favorite Stipendium features. Just on first listen. Um, and in general... It's just a really fun little little chorus like that. That deserves that deserves like its own honorable mention because it was so stupendium and yet it fit the vibe of what Rustage has managed to set up so well. And so now I'm excited to see how Peso is going to carry the song through to the next chorus and if uh, Soups can match that energy, which I feel like he can. But then again, Peso is a little bit of a wild card because he's he has a pretty toned down like singing and rapping voice. But everyone but like I know him best as the one who pops off and just starts raging like he does in like the Blackbeard rap for I think it's DPS. Uh, and that's just like one of many examples. So I'm curious to see how he's going to approach Luffy. Leeway, anything happening, anything grabbable, making it malleable. Fine line for the fun times like a follicle. Let myself go to arm, not unstoppable. Rocking them, wrecking them, straight disrespecting them, turning your city to world. Objectively, they want the fruits of my labor, but fuck them, hate them. Just turning up and we liberate you. If it's juice, then we oofing them in it, made them. And if broke me younger, we simply rate them. Watch the story, you've been warned, cause I'm finna rate it. Understand that when I walked in, so crazy. But I got the best power created. You dumb if you did, you get my two we make. I ain't in years, just trapped in stay. So it's just these drums, I was in my playlist. Ha, kind of come here. While beating them funny, I'm beating them weird. I sent out a board breath, but that shit disappeared. Nice, like I got brain and back right here. <laughs> <laughs> the booties got loony and put them in hers. Getting done back, getting done funny, what's worse? I got back in some trick and I blink in my purse. Here in my joy, boy, life, but they disperse. Even when our morals have been shaken, I okay yeah pay there's still a lot of the song left so i'm guessing there might be another either stoops is gonna have his own verse or rush is gonna come back in or maybe rustage and uh peso will will flip back and forth that would be kind of cool too that would match the chaotic energy of the song but that was such a good verse from peso not nearly as ramped up as i was expecting it to be but at the same time still on the same level of cartoonish antics and insanity that the rest of the song has been so far with uh, a little bit more context added to it as well so even someone like me who only knows the fight and knows nothing else about one piece really um i mean i've done my research on the devil fruit just in preparation for all these reactions there's like five or six reactions i'm getting to that are gear five loopy if i'm lucky you know i i'm hoping they all turn out um but uh, just the context that they managed to add, fantastic. All of these guys, fantastic so far. I ain't never breaking drums of liberation. Oh, no. Even when I'm on the shaking, I ain't never breaking drums of liberation sound. I won't ever stop until we make it. Rise to occasion, drums of liberation sound. Love this part. And if we keep our ears open every beat we hear Battling despair and fear choking I move on with clear focus I know that we're here hoping Cause we all can change the future of the world in mere moments And they heard me, my name is known in every conversation I can push past all the issues, every single complication See me smiling but they know that I have finally lost my patience When I walk you hear the beat, you hear the drums of liberation Can you feel the drumming in my heartbeat? Oh. Can you feel the rhythm in my bones? I'm oh. about to raise another army. You won't never stand alone. Having the instrumental cut out like that and hearing that those first few bars changed the tone of that entirely. It went from being very goofy to very, very, very serious, which kind of matches what, what, uh, what a Russid just said with his last verse, where he was like, you know, you, I know you see me smiling, but uh, you know I've lost my patience or something along those lines. Like, that, that set this up for such a much harder and more serious tone. And then the, everything drops out except for the drum beat. And the drum beat doesn't even start up until like the third line. And it changes the context of everything Stoops is saying. You hear the beat, you hear the drums of liberation. 
Can you feel the drumming in my heartbeat? Can you feel the rhythm in my bones? I'm about to raise another army. You won't ever stand alone. Whoa. Even when I'm on Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. The reason why I stopped is because that that whoa sounded very Maguire like, and I just wanted. To, oh, yeah, there it is. I didn't. I haven't heard Holla in here. I, I haven't been paying that much uh, uh, attention. But <laughs> yeah, no. The moment I heard that, I'm like, that's Maguire. That's Maguire. I swear, Maguire is like freaking. Where's Waldo? He's where's Waldo in a, in in Nerdcore? He's where's where's McGuire? Where's he gonna pop up next? Now I can hear Holla. That was fantastic. That might be the at least I can't say it's the best Luffy song right now because of the fact that I still got like look at this. I've got DBS to react to. Who's this over here? D uh, um no that's DPS. Um that's the the what do you call it the topic. I know that uh Dizzy Eight released a, uh, a Gear Five Luffy rap. I think Game Boy Jones did too. Like there's so many gear five luffy raps that just came out and i'm going to be reacting to as many of them as possible hopefully they all turn out so that that way they can uh get put on youtube because one reason why you probably may not see some of the reactions that i might talk about wanting to do is because they didn't turn out very well uh and i only put out things that i feel like aren't aren't garbage so yeah no that was phenomenal um as of right now as of the beginning of this entire string of gear 5 luffy raps this was probably the best luffy rap that i've heard so far in general like the best luffy song period i've heard quite a few so that's kind of cool um but that's going to be it for me thank you for joining me i am Mark alpha 12 and i will see you in the next video